Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using strain energy method. A propped cantilever beam of span 5 meter is given in the question. The beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 32 kN per meter for the full span. We have to find the fixed end moment at A, the vertical reactions and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are the moment MA, vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2 we will get 1. Let us take Rb as a redundant. To find Rb we can use the strain energy formula 1 upon 2 Ei into integration of m square dx. To find the moment m we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load for the full span. So, only one section is enough. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point B. In the strain energy formula, the limits for the integration is 0 to 5. Let us find the moment M. That is the moment about the section. We are going to find the moment from the point B. In this case, we are using left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Up to the section, we have RB and the uniformly distributed load 32. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is X. So RB into X. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. We can eliminate 2. Here it will be 16. X into X, we will get X square. Now let us use Castellanos second theorem. We know that in the point B, there is a vertical support. So the deflection will be 0. So, when we partially differentiate the strain energy U with respect to RB, we will get 0. Let us partially differentiate U with respect to RB. When we differentiate M square, we will get 2M. Inside M, we have RB. So, again we have to partially differentiate M with respect to RB. We can eliminate these two and these two. Let us apply M. Now let us partially differentiate M with respect to RB. For RB it will be 1. In this term there is no RB. So here it will be 0. 1 into X we will get X. Let us take 1 upon EI on the other side. 0 into EI we will get 0. Let us multiply these two terms. X into X we will get X square. X into X square we will get X cube. Using this formula, we can do the integration. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. Now, let us apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit 0. Only apply the upper limits. Finally, for Rb, we are getting 60 kN. Now, let us apply the rule. Sigma v is equal to 0 and find Ra. R A and R B are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards, so that will be negative. We have to multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance. Finally, for R A, we are getting 100 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma m is equal to 0 and find m a. To find MA, I am going to take moment about A. In this case, I am moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. 
or B is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Here the distance is 5 so 5 into 5 by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so MA is positive. Finally, for the moment MA, we are getting 100 kilonewton meter. Now, we are going to draw the shear force diagram. We can calculate the shear force values from the point A to the point B. In this case, we have to use right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the rule, I have got the values. Here, you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point B. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. We can use left hand side rule. Upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive. 60 is acting upwards so that it will be negative. UDL is acting downwards so that it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance. Finally, for X, we are getting 1.875 meter. We know that at this distance, we will have the maximum positive bending moment. Let us find that. We can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 1.875. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally, we are getting 56.25 kN meter. We know that the point B is a simply supported end. So the bending moment in the point B is 0. To find the bending moment at A, we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it is negative. Here I have drawn the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes zero. This is called the point of contraflexure. Let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point B. Let us find the bending moment in this point. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. We can take this term on the other side so it will come as positive. We can eliminate x. We can eliminate 2. Here it will be 16. Finally, for x, we are getting 3.75 meter. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.